Here's something I've been hearing a lot lately. Man, the bands are dead during the daytime. I mean, horrible. Even 20 meters all day long, dead. It's just, it's, it's bad. Well, what we're going through right now is what is commonly called the summer doldrums. And uh, those of us that came from the 11 meter world, and I'm a long time 11 meter guy. I mean, we're pushing 50 years. Um, we experience this all the time, every year during the summer. And we know, hey, cut the radio off and wait for, uh, wait for autumn to get here. I'm going to explain what's really happening in the propagation world and, and the ionosphere during the doldrums. Stick around. Ah, the HF summer doldrums. That time of year where daytime HF is almost impossible. Let's talk about what it really is. What it really is, is blanketing. Blanketing from the E layer and some absorption from the D layer. Now, we'll do a quick run back for those of you new to uh, HF propagation. When you're uh, talking DX long distance on HF radio, let's say between 3 and 30 megahertz, what you're doing is you're skipping your signal off of the F layer, the upper layer of the ionosphere. Now, a quick rundown of what these layers are. The ionosphere has four layers, or maybe we could say three, but four. Um, you have the D layer, the E layer, the F1, and the F2. And this is during the daytime. Now, during the nighttime, everything goes away kind of except for the F layer. The F layer combines F1 and F2 into one F layer, and this is the only layer the ionosphere is up there. That's why a lot of times if you're like a 40 meter or 80 meter guy, you really talk skip at night even better. But, and one more thing, because somebody, well, the E layer, yeah, there are, the e, there are parts of the E layer that remain in the, it's really the D layer that disappears completely at night. There's some evidence that there's, uh, not evidence, science that shows that there's some E layer still there. But anyway, that's a quick rundown of what's going on. So your signal when you're making a HF contact day or night, to a DX contact, your, let's just say the daytime during normal circumstances, not during the doldrums, your signal's penetrating through the D layer, through the E layer, and bouncing off the F layer. So what happens during the doldrums? Well, during the doldrums, as the sun is like at its max in the summertime, and the earth, let's just say here in the northern hemisphere, we're going through this right now, as the earth wobbles, as you know, as it goes around the sun, as the earth is in the northern hemisphere is closer to the sun, that also charges the E layer, for that matter, all layers, but the E layer and the D layer even more. And by charging this, this E layer is protecting us, but it's not letting the signals that are normally going through it and up to the F layer to bounce back down. So we're not getting any skip. What's happening is that's blanketing. Now, during all circumstances, the D layer, the D layer doesn't skip. It's, it absorbs your HF signal. So as an HF signal goes up and leaves you and goes through the D and the E layer, parts of it still, no matter what, is kind of getting a little absorbed by the D layer. But in the summertime, it gets even worse. So during the doldrums, you got, you got the D layer that's just absorbing the E layer, which is acting as a blanket and kind of sending the signals back down. Picture uh, the movie 300, when all the arrows are coming in. The E layer is protecting us just like that. It's, it's just putting up the shield and not letting the sun cook us. On the other hand, it's not letting the signals go through it as well. Let's take a peek. I, I kind of did. This is that's my easy uh, take on it. I've got us. Uh, I asked the same question to Chat GPT. In summer, HF radio ionosphere blanketing. Let's talk about blanketing. Uh, mainly refers to how the lower ionosphere, especially the D layer, absorbs or muffles signals, preventing them from reaching the higher reflective E and F layers. 
The effect is stronger in the summer because the sun's higher angle and longer daylight hours and more intense UV X-ray radiation. There you go. So what causes the blanket effect? Uh, for D-layer formation, the D-layer, which is 50 to 90 uh, kil kilometers up, is formed by solar UV and X-rays ionizing atmospheric gas. This layer doesn't refract HF signals like the F layer. Instead, it absorbs them, especially below 10 megahertz. Summertime boost, though, more sunlight, stronger ionization in the D layer. This layer persists longer into the evening and summer, especially mid-latitudes. How does it affect HF bands? Well, lower bands, 160, 80, 40, strong daytime attenuation, sometimes complete loss of long-distance daytime propagation. 40 meters can still work for regional invis, uh, but with reduced range. The mid bands, 20, 17, 15, less affected by D layer, but summer E layer can cause strong blanketing of lower F layer pass by introducing short hop skip and blocking distant signals. Nighttime, the D layer vanishes after dark, so lower bands recover, but in summer, noise levels from thunderstorms often okay. Enough. Anyway, so kind of that's chat GPT's version of it. So there it is. What's happening right now? Summer doldrums. Um, the E layer is just like shielding us. It's shielding us from the sun, but it's not letting our HF signals go through it. Thus, HF signals suck in the summertime. I don't know any other way to put it, but other than that. So that's it. But the good news is, and the real good news now too, as we're in the solar cycle, all this is doing with the charging or whatever, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We get through this and we go, let's say, into autumn. Man, it's going to be amazing. So if you're like a, what I've learned over almost 50 years, if you're an 11 meter guy, man, you can't wait for it to start getting a little, you know, cooler because that means that the earth is coming back. We're getting closer to the, you know, the, the equinox or what have you. And, um, and signals will start going right through the D and the E layer, skip off the F layer, and you'll see an amazing skip. It's coming, especially you guys, especially technicians, or you CB or slash 11 meter guys, oh, just wait till, uh, let's just say, late September, early October, and all the way through, all the way back around till next summer. Conditions are going to be amazing, and we'll be making great skip again. This is just a, every year it happens all the time. It's just the summer doldrums or blanketing. Blanketing from the E layer, absorption from the D layer. I hope that kind of explains it, makes it a little bit clearer. Um, so when you see people go, oh, it's the solar cycle. Yeah, it's going to be stronger and more intense during the solar cycle, but this will happen no matter where we're at in the cycle. Blanketing is blanketing, and, um, and that's what's going on with us right now. Anyway, hope that explains it. Hope you enjoyed the uh, video. My favorite part of the ham radio hobby is understanding and studying uh, propagation. I love propagation, not just the ionosphere and what's causing it, but the earth as well with ground, salt water, and that type of thing. So something I really, I've done a lot of research on, I, I'm really into been for a long, long time. So if you're into that as well, and if you want to see me play with um, cheap radios and go out on the beach and operate portable, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.